Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Cherokee Hex Life. Um, day six of intermittent fasting. Uh, this whole IF thing has been honestly been going great. Um, I'm breaking my fast right now. It's about it's, uh, 1.45, it's gonna be two o'clock. And I'm breaking my fast real smooth. Um, yesterday I tried to have a cheat day. My body really didn't let me. Um, I didn't eat the four or 5,000 calories that I thought I was gonna actually take in. I ate my big meal. Uh, which was my cereal that I showed you guys. I ate like four bowls of that Frosted Flakes. Uh, it was fantastic. Then afterwards, um, I just had some Chinese food. And I think I stayed right around the 2,000 calorie mark anyway for the day. Um, I honestly just didn't want to eat anymore. I felt like I was just going to eat a lot of food, but I, I really didn't. Um, I think probably the one thing that I did have was a cupcake that was actually pretty good. <clears throat> but other than that, didn't have anything that was crazy. Today I'm breaking my fast with... Um, two turkey burgers, some fries, and a drink. Kind of check you so you guys can see this. I cooked this myself. Um, so here's the uh, turkey burgers with some cheese, some ketchup, some seasoned fries, um, and then I'm probably going to drink some of this. I won't drink all of it, I promise. Um, it's just some iced tea. Um, basically, just some powdered iced tea. So that's basically what I'm breaking my fast with today. And I tried to, wanted to keep it healthy because I'm going for the full 18 hours again tomorrow. And then obviously tomorrow I'll go right back into my gym workouts. So I wanted to make sure I keep it healthy today. Um, don't go crazy on the food or anything like that. But I'm actually going to try to shorten my window to about 5 hours. Because I am starting pretty late right now. It's going to be about 2 o'clock now. So if I start eating now, actually I actually might even shrink it down to about 4 hours where I eat. This is going to be about 1,000 calories. Now I could go right back into my cycle next, uh, next starting Monday. That's going to be the 18 hour window and then I start eating around 10 or 11 o'clock and then go for my 6 hours again like I've been doing. It just works better for my lifestyle. Do whatever actually works for your lifestyle. It's totally up to you guys. Um, what I always recommend is just customize this intermittent fasting thing, whatever works for you. If you're a second shift worker at your job or a third shift worker, do it. Make sure you're fasting the majority of the time when you're sleeping or um, when you're either in the gym and then a couple hours afterwards, but don't try to make it where you know it changes up your entire lifestyle completely and adjust it as you need to. Um, like I said, this cheat day didn't really turn out to be much of a cheat day for me. Um, and then the other day when I actually had a work function on Thursday, I had to adjust my time as well just because life just comes up. So adjust it as you see fit. Um, most of the time we can kind of tell in advance when exactly we have these kind of things. So if you have a date like on a Friday and you don't want to look weird, on your date just chugging down water because you already stopped eating at 7, adjust it the day before um, and start shifting your hours up a little bit so that way you do get to actually enjoy your time even while you're still on the intermittent fasting thing. So keep that in mind while you're doing it. Like I would say, make sure you um, keep working towards your goals and whatever you do, just make it happen.